Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. Please subscribe to DP Tutorials and click on the bell icon for notifications. In this tutorial, let us learn how to calculate SLA or TAT by excluding non-business hours in Excel. Here, I will be showing with two examples. One, where I have the date and time fields in two different columns and other case, I have the date and time in the same column. So let us see the first case. Here I have the reporting date and time, response date and time in four different columns. And let us calculate the SLAs or turnaround times. Okay. Generally what everyone does is a normal subtraction with which we can't exclude the non-business hours and hence it will be reflecting the wrong results. See here in the first row, it is showing as 10 hours and 29 minutes but my business hours start from 9 am and ends at 9 pm so here it is reflecting the wrong duration right because it is subtracting the 6 am time now let us fix this in the column f i type the formula in cell f4 as equals to median open the bracket Select D4, comma, 9 p.m. in the inverted commas, comma, 9 a.m. in the inverted commas like this. Minus median B4, comma, 21 hours, comma, 9 hours in the inverted quotes and close the bracket. What median function does is it calculates the middle value of the set of given numbers. So if you see, I'm subtracting this end time minus start time. How to calculate the exact end time and start time? So here we are using the median function so as to exclude the non-business hours. So when I press enter, the result will be eight hours and two minutes, okay? But remember friends, there is a problem here. If I change the date in cell A4 as 29th July instead of 30th July, that is a day before, the result in cell F4 is still showing as 8 hours and 2 minutes, which is wrong. To correct this, we should be adding a formula to the existing formula to add number of hours based on the days difference. Now add equals to Open the bracket, network days dot intl, that is international. Open the bracket, select start date as A4, comma, end date as C4, comma. Now you can select the week offs as per your workplace. I'm typing as 11 because I'm treating Sundays are as my week offs. Close the bracket, minus one, close the bracket. multiplied by, open the bracket, now enter your business hours, that is 9 p.m. minus 9 a.m. in the inverted commas and close the bracket. So this calculates the exact number of days between these two dates excluding Sundays which are my week offs and multiplying with 12 hours of business hours a day. If you want to modify the week offs field, you may change accordingly this number 11. If you want to exclude even your workplace holidays, you should be using the normal network days function instead of networks days dot intl. When you press enter, you will see the result as 20 hours, two minutes. As 12 hours got added because of one day difference. Now you can drag this formula to rest of the cells to get respect to SLS or TATS. Okay, this is working fine now. Now let us get into the second case where we have the date and time in the same cells like this. You can make use of the previous formula in this example. Copy this formula and paste in cell F4. Now change the date difference as B4, comma D4 and press enter. But it is still showing the wrong result. Okay. You need to tweak the formula a bit like this. Inside the median function, 
replace d4 as mod open the bracket d4 comma 1 close the bracket and again b4 as mod b4 comma 1 close the bracket by doing this you're picking only time field from respective cells okay when you're using the mod function it converts the value into the only the time format when you press enter you will see the result as 8 hours and 2 minutes exactly as we have seen in our earlier example now drag this formula to see all results it is working fine right got it friends in this way you can calculate the sla or tats by excluding non-business hours and your week offs in your excel sheet i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial if yes please do give me a like share and comment for further more interesting videos please do subscribe to dp tutorials thank you friends thanks for watching